Hey, good morning, Mr. Elliott. It's John with Tadlock Reefing. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to come out to this awesome place y'all have out here tucked back in the woods. Very beautiful place. Um, first thing I saw when I got up on the roof was that shingles are very weathered for their age, um, but you have holes. That's a hole there. That's literally a hole there. That's just from age, from deterioration and wear from the sun, but another hole, another hole, big hole there. And you can see here that there are holes forming in the tabs as well. Um, this is considered a lower slope roof. So water does not shed off of this at a high rate. Shingles are water resistant. They're made to shed water. They're not waterproof. You can see here that the tabs are losing adhesion. You can absolutely see that. You can see the staples which anchored the um, shingles. Some of them are even blown all the way through. It's not even holding. That one's backing out. You can see your underlayment right here in between. Um, so moving on. Um, another thing that I noticed is there's not a functional ridge vent all the way across to allow all of the heat and moisture to escape the attic. Uh, that's going to help you to stay cool in the summertime. This has been repaired at one time. And one of the major things that I saw up here was that we have a literally a rotten section of eave right here. And when I lifted this up, I was able to notice that they used a regular shingle all the way around the perimeter of this house. And what happened is, is that they didn't stagger the brakes on the shingles. So this brake lined up with that brake of the shingle. And therefore you have rot right there. So you can see up in there that that wood is completely rotted out. Um, there's not even any wood there anymore. Um, so that's, that's definitely gonna need to be addressed. And um, the only other thing I really wanted to point out to you, and it kind of just explains the age of these shingles and why you may want to catch this before it gets too far gone. But I put you a good illustration over here of loss of adhesion. So what you see here, you can kind of see some lines on the shingles on the top of the tabs right here. And what's that, what that is from is from loss of adhesion. So the wind is getting up under this. There's no adhesion whatsoever. And you can see that it's been flapping in the wind for quite some time. And it is exposing these staples and also the brake. So there's nothing behind this except plywood and underlayment. Um, that thing right there just lifts right up this whole section. That one's adhered pretty well. You can hear it, but it's... That they're just losing adhesion like crazy. That one's kind of adhered. I don't want to go crazy, but I just want you to see what's going on. And this is going to be common all the way across the roof, but right there, that thing's been loose for quite some time to be flapping like that. That one's still adhered a little bit right there, but they're, they're starting to lose their adhesion. So I just want to bring that to your attention because it's just going to become more and more common and prevalent on this roof. All right, thank you, Mr. Elliott.